the bevy are a trio of shops that flow into each other. Milo, a surf-inspired boutique, and the Avro Cafe. And in between, Pico, where you can transform plants and flowers into works of art. There's a nice synergy you can feel while browsing at Salt. Very cool. You're inside Pico. Um, it's a floral botanical boutique. It's run by two incredible women, um, Courtney Monahan and Tamara Rigney. I've been working in the shop for nearly a year, and my title is Visual and Floral Coordinator. And so what I do in the shop is I help support their vision for the layout and the display. Um, I assist Courtney with some of the merchandising, and then I also make bouquets. Well, we're definitely unique. What has evolved over the lifespan of Pico includes this flower bar, as you're talking about. So we always have fresh flowers that are coming from the Big Island um, and Maui, and so people can come in and put together arrangements. We also have a DIY bar. We have a range of succulents that we leave in the front, and so people can choose the succulents, and then we have different pots in the shop, and people can put them together. We have a lot of things that are pre-made in both those categories, and then we also teach workshops, and so you can check out everything that we offer online. It includes floral crowns, we do kokedama workshops, and then we'll also do special succulent arrangement workshops as well. We've been able to have a connection with Milo, and then also Arvo recently had their year anniversary. So I think um, just Speaking from experience of being in the shop, um, because I didn't design the concept myself, I can just say that it really functions well in terms of um, just the customer's experience. They come in, they get to have some coffee, they can meet with friends, they can browse, you can learn about plants, because of course we're always teaching people about how to take care of the plants, and then you can come over here and have this wonderful experience in Milo with all of the special things that they offer. I think together we kind of work as a crew, um, even though we're separate businesses, it's worked really well. We, we love having all this energy come together. We like to offer local flowers, flowers that are grown in Hawaii throughout the islands, and most of our flowers actually come from the Big Island, and we get those in about every Thursday. We get a fresh bunch coming through, and it really depends depends on what's happening, you know, with the growers. For example, you know, we were short on proteas for a little while because there was a lot of rain on the Big Island. So then we might have more anthuriums coming through. So it's fun because it's, you know, what we have in the shop reflects what's growing out in the environment. Something that's really fun that we're working on right now, of course, Valentine's is a really big season for us. So we're doing some bouquets that are featuring different colored anthuriums, brightly colored, juxtaposed with some of the proteas, and then uh, we brought in some beautiful olive branches and then we have different greens and so for me it's less about one flower and it's more about how all of those flowers combine to form something unique. I'm not a floral designer, that really falls in the hands of one of the owners, Tamara. She's uh, incredible and she has a, also has a sister business called Okika where she does floral design for weddings and events. She wrote a book recently about gathering flowers and making arrangements, so she's really the expert. <laughs> I'm an artist, a painter, and I have a background in installation. I think my sensibilities come together from that background and having this great uh, space with people who are doing creative work with flowers. I've picked up some techniques. It's coming mainly from that background.